how we found this, it, it actually all starts with the little observatories that we use. Now, those have a high resolution camera built in. The resolution that we need, you have to account for every little bit of a distortion in that lens. So, so you look at all the stars in the sky and work out where they all are and compare that to a library of stars. And then you can work out exactly how that's distorted in that particular lens, in each individual lens. You know, we've tracked this thing from 85 kilometers up in the atmosphere using cameras that are about 100 kilometers away from that point. And you, we can pick its location within about 50 meters as it comes through. This other student of mine has worked out this whole new model that uses really advanced tracking algorithms to, uh, to work out okay, how that thing is decelerated in the atmosphere. And that gives us an idea of the mass of it. When, it, when the light finally goes out, we have to work out exactly how the wind is blowing it off course. So we use a, a climate model that is at a resolution way higher than Bureau of Meteorology in Australia uses. And so you build this kind of volume around the, the falling rock to work out, you know, on a cell by cell level, how the wind is blowing it off course. And at that point, we have an idea of, of where it's going to be. All of that has been, you know, completely novel and uses a whole bunch of innovations that have really never been tested before. And that's all ours. No one else has ever done any of that. It's just purely my team's effort that's done that. And you don't know whether that's going to work or not. You know, you hope it is. You've done every, you've ticked every single box you can think of. You know, they're all smart people on my team, but at the end of the day, you know, nature can have a way of tripping you up. It's an iron meteorite, mate. So when I finally touched the thing, I knew, okay, all of those little pieces in that puzzle have kind of clicked into place. And I, then I got very excited and I did get quite emotional.